Hello everyone. Uh, my name is, as you can see, my name is Mohammed Sheikh. Uh, and today I present you with Hangol the Shop. Uh, but before I start, uh, I just want to ask a quick question. Uh, you can answer by raising your hands. How many African stores are there in Minnesota, do you think? And have you ever shopped from many of them? Raising hands. One. <laughs> All right. So, so this is the problem that I'm trying to tackle here. Uh, we have almost, yeah, we have, there are 250 African stores in Minnesota alone, in the Twin Cities, in Minneapolis and St. Paul, and some of them in Brooklyn Park. So we have almost 250 African stores, but we never heard of them. How come? They're part of us, their success is our success, their failure is our failure, because we live together. So <clears throat> there is a Jeff, he's from Ghana, I met him at the Festivals of Nation in St. Paul. Uh, he has a booth, he has four different booths over there. Uh, he has one in uh, uh, Wisconsin, one in Shakopee, and two in the Twin Cities, one in St. Paul, and one in uh, Minneapolis. So this guy goes from all over the place, setting, renting booth to booth to sell, the, uh, to sell his, uh, his uh, items. And we have uh, actual stores that are located in the mall in, uh, in the Twin Cities. And they also uh, don't get a lot of customers care. Um, so here, I, when I was talking to Jeff, he said, I have to sell my items very quickly. So some of these items are very expensive. They cost $34. Uh, some of them are costing $50 if you go to Amazon. But then he sent them for $15. He sent them for $5 so he can sell them very quickly. So there is a big gap here. If they are in a store, they don't get much customer. Uh, and if they go to a booth and rent a booth, they, will, they have to sell their uh, items very quickly. So to solve this problem, I came up with Hangol, the shop. I don't know why the image is not showing here. It's supposed to be image in the background. So Hangol, the shop is a website platform to help these uh, immigrant sellers sell their products online with no rush, taking their time, taking their own time. They will take their time and with the, the value of their product, not with very less amount of money. They have this beautiful uh, items that you, you won't find anywhere else, but then they're rushing, they're selling, or sometimes they don't even get customers. If you're a fashion, if you're a fashion person, if you like fashion, you would want these items. You would want to get those items, but then the only way to find is by going there or by finding them at a booth. So, in order to make that easy, Hangol would just, you would go to the website and you would buy it from there and then we ship it to you very quickly. So, for this one, this one's different. So, in order to get this wedding dress right here, which is becoming a very popular wedding dress these days, uh, you can see in proms of high schools, uh, but it's, it's very expensive. But then at the same time, to get that one, you would have to go to the Twin City and make an appointment. And then after that, you have to come back a week later, to, week later to get it. So in order to make all of this easier, you would go to hangol.com, you would order it online, and it would be delivered to your house with less than a week. So if you live in Texas, let's say, and you want this item, what you need to do is you have to come to Twin City, you have to come to Minneapolis or St. Paul in order to get it. But with hangol, you would just have to type on Gold at shop, order it online, and it would be there in your house, in your four steps, with no time, within no time. None of these items are available online right now. It's unfortunate. They're beautiful, I like them. They should be, they should get the time they deserve uh, to be online. So the goal of Hangol is to take these products online, uh, to help the sellers sell, and maintain their lifestyle. They are, um, they have side jobs, they do work at the airport, but then at the same time they do some uh, side jobs. And I, I believe that they, they deserve some time in, uh, in, wide range of, in front of a wide range of customers. So, to find this online, if you're a fashion person, or if you're an African person who wants to find some African goods so you can be proud of, you would go to a golden shop. So, 
you, there is a competition anywhere you go. So basically, you could say you're the Itzy of Africa. I'm not. You go to Hangol to celebrate, so to celebrate your heritage, to celebrate the beauty. You would fall in love once you go to Hangol. It's very beautiful. And Itzy, it has 1.8 million uh, sellers. They sell all kinds of things. But I have unique, very unique uh, items in Hangol. So this is the financial projections. Uh, I was, I, I'm, I'm, st I'm about to start with five stores, and each of them, in 2017, we'll start with uh, five stores, and then by the end of 2020, we would have almost 300 stores, uh, because I would give opportunity to non-African entrepreneurs to sell their products at Hongo. So the, the total revenue and the total operating expense uh, the difference is the, uh, the profit that I'm gaining, which would be $670,000 uh, by the end of 2020. But really what matters is not the money, what matters is the help that I'm giving to this community uh, because they deserve some help. Uh, so the process is very easy at Hangol. You sign up, I would be helping them to sign up because these sellers don't have any experience with the internet. Uh, they list their product. I have experience uh, of working on Amazon and eBay as a seller. So I would help them list their products and then I would sell and then they would sell through Hangol. So the question is how would you help Hangol achieve its goal? Thank you very much. What is the platform you're, you're using? Have you developed it? Or? Yeah, it's a website, a huge website. It can have many sellers, or it can have less sellers, or it can have one seller. Yeah, so it's a website platform that looks like uh, Etsy. Have you no Etsy? Or Amazon, you can say. Is, is this like a third party that you've, I mean, a lot of this stuff now is off the shelf. So you were able to pull it all together with off the shelf components, right? Yes, yes, that's right. What, what, what do the economics look like for the, 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 uh, the stores that you work with? What, what, what are their numbers? How much do they get and how much do you get? They, they rely on people, uh, that, people come, uh, people that, that come to their stores that get their products. Sometimes they don't even get customers at a day because there's a lot of them at the same area and the same mall and they all sell the same thing. So it's, hard, it's very hard for them to make money even if they get customers which they don't even get because all of us don't even know about. But, but with Hangul, what, with what, Hangul, what share do they get with Hangul? But with Hangul, we would be able to reach a lot of customers, wide range of customers that have different backgrounds, but, a specific, uh, but more of a majority of being Africans. There are almost three million Africans in the United States, and Hangul would make easier for this, uh, for this sellers to reach all of those customers. So um, the customer that's going and buying the wedding dress for a hundred dollars mm -hmm. today, how much will they pay for it on Hangul, and how much will Hangul get of that hundred dollars? They would pay. Uh, they would pretty much, uh, pay one hundred uh, fifty for that, and uh, Hangul would get three percent of that. But then at the same time, they would have to pay the shipping cost because this item you won't find anywhere else. So, so hang up three percent. Did you say? Yes. Okay. Well, Mohammed, we're all dying to know what's in the backpack. Oh, I, I, I forgot to, to tell you. Uh, so for this one, I went to when I was talking to Jeff. This one was thirty dollars. He has to sell this one for thirty dollars. But if you go actual store in Brooklyn Park, you would get by seventy-five dollars. So they have to get rid of these beautiful items and jewelry very quickly in order to get profit. They're renting the booth for 1000 for almost 1000 So they're selling these beautiful uh, items for very cheap price. So the goal of Angola is make sure that they don't do that. Let's hear it for them.